selling in difficult times. Right now, we're in the middle of them. And I didn't know this when I wrote my book, A Mind for Sales, a year ago. But I'll tell you what, your mind right now is the most critical asset you have to get through difficult times. Now, not just those today, but any time we get into it. And I want to walk you through a couple of things that are going to help you. I want you to hit subscribe. I want you to leave me a comment. And hey, most of all, like it, would you? I put new videos out like this all the time. My new book, A Mind for Sales, is really about one thing. How do you get your mind screwed on straight? Now, here's the whole thing. In difficult times, the last thing your customers want is for you to be bringing them more news about difficult times. No, this is the time for you to step up and be the R&D department for your customers. What do I mean by R&D? I mean research and development department. This is the time when you come into them with the level of confidence and the level of expertise and the level of strategic insight that you know you can bring to them because these are customers that you know you can help. You see, too many times what I find happening when times get tough is that salespeople step off the gas. They step back. They step back because they say nobody wants to buy because they're caught up in other things. And I, and I say that's just totally false. I think now is the time more than ever when they do want to buy because they need solutions. They need you to be bringing to them ideas. But here's the whole thing. You have to bring it to them just slightly different. First of all, you have to bring it to them in a very simple manner. Here's what I've found. Trying to sell long, complex solutions in difficult times is very hard because one simple thing, there are too many outside noises, too many outside things that get in the way. What you want to do is you want to make your solution be as simple and as easy as possible for the customer to grasp. You don't want something that's going to require multiple meetings and a countless number of people to be involved on both sides. Keep it simple. Make the solution simple. What you're doing is you're bringing to your customer a solution, a step up that they can find their way out of the turmoil. And here's what I found. When you do this, it is amazing how you allow your customer to be more calm. You allow them to be more confident. And guess what? You become more calm. You become more confident. And what does it do? It allows you to help that many more customers. Same thing goes with prospecting. Don't think for a moment that in difficult times, you don't, no, no, no. You want to put your foot on the gas and prospect even more because you have the ability to help people. So therefore, it's your responsibility. Now, there are a couple of things you have to look at from your own headset. First of all, your own mindset, however you want to look at it. Don't get caught up in all of the mayhem going on around you. This is the easiest way to get yourself mired in the mud. And then you become just like one of the other pigs. You're playing in the mud. No, stay above the fray. Ignore the outside noises. Ignore the outside noises. I'm always amazed at the U.S. Secret Service. You know, they're in charge of the currency. They do not spend their time looking at counterfeit bills. No, they spend their time looking at the real bills. Why? Because when, when they're 100% focused on the real bills, it's amazing how they really are able to spot very quickly the counterfeit. You see, this one, and, and I want you to do the same thing. I, I want you to stay absolutely focused on the solution you can provide. This way, when you see outside noise, you know exactly it's outside noise and you don't get caught up in it. You don't get caught up. You see, your customers need you. Now, one other piece that I'm gonna strongly suggest is that you need to have others around you who share your same expertise. That's why in my book, A Mind for Sales, I talk about the need to have a mastermind group. You need to have other people like you who you can rally support from. Because sales is not a solo activity. Sales is a team sport. And just as it's a team in terms of you and your customer, it's a team with the other salespeople you get to associate with. You don't have time to have people who play in the mud. Hey, I did write the book, A Mind for Sales. I want you to read it. It is, I didn't realize it a year ago when I wrote this book, how applicable it would be to the time in which we're in today. I'm Mark Hunter, the Sales Center. Great selling.